everyone and welcome back to my channel and as you can tell tonight we're in my kitchen again because I'm going to be doing another cooking video for you and this video that I'm doing today I got from another YouTube creator her name is Jan and her channel's name is Jan from New York City Saves Money now I've gotten several of my uh, cooking videos from her channel and this one is a meatloaf but it's made in a very special way. And when she posted it, I told her that I would immediately try to make the recipe. And uh, she wanted somebody that would do it and use uh, instant mashed potatoes because she had never done it with instant mashed potatoes. And instant mashed potatoes is pretty much all I use because it's just me. So I'm gonna put the camera down and then I will show you the ingredients and tell you how we're gonna put this together. I'm calling it an inside out meatloaf. You could call it Jan's special meatloaf. Get out everything up there where you could see it. All right. Here's the ingredients, and I've already I put on gloves, and I already got a mess up because I kind of softened up the meat already a little bit to get it started. Pound of hamburger meat. One small can of peas and carrots. eight ounce can of tomato sauce and you're going to need to divide the tomato sauce in half so what i did i put half of it in a half a cup because that's four ounces then i left the other four ounces in the can and then it called for mashed potatoes she didn't really specify how many mashed potatoes to use so i just made up one of my packets of mashed potatoes and I'm going to use however many out of this that I need. I don't know if it takes a cup or half a cup or what. Because like I said, she didn't really specify. Um, one large egg, and I got my egg inside of here already. Looks like I got a little shell in there with it too. Let me get that shell out. Um, let's see. A teaspoon of onion powder. I didn't have any onion powder. I had dried onions, so I'm going to go with that. One and a half cup seasoned breadcrumbs. And then you'll need a cup of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, however you say that. So you mix everything in here except your mashed potatoes and your peas and one of your sauces. So I'm going to go ahead and add all this stuff in here. There goes the egg. Here comes the cheese. And here comes the breadcrumbs. Now what you're going to put this in is an 8 by 8 uh, baking pan and you'll need to grease it. So you put all this stuff in here we mix it up. And then after you get it mixed really well, then you're going to add your tomato sauce and you're going to mix that up in here too. Now after you get this mixed up pretty good, and it'll be a bit on the dry side, or at least mine is, I guess that's how it's supposed to be, after you get all the cheese and bread comes mixed in, then you're going to add uh, one of the eight ounces, or one of the four ounces of the tomato sauce. Mix that in. That'll help make it a little bit softer. Because the next thing we're going to put in there is the peas. Okay, that made it a little bit softer. Now when you add the peas and carrots in here, you want to kind of gently fold them in because you don't want to smash the peas, you know, the peas and carrots. So you basically are going to put them in and just kind of fold them in there. I'm going to do a little bit at a time. And here's how, after you get your peas and carrots in there, then you're going to take, oh yeah, I forgot my onion. <laughs> Almost forgot my onions. <laughs> Got to get them worked in there. All you should have left now is your mashed potatoes and the other four ounces of tomato sauce. So you get everything 
in there mixed up as good as it's supposed to be. And that looks pretty good. Okay. Then you're going to take an 8 by 8 pan that's been sprayed, greased, buttered, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to press half of this mixture down into the bottom of that pan. So the way I'm going to tell half, I'm going to mash it down flat in this bowl and take a knife and just cut it down through the middle. And that's going to be how I tell my half. Because I don't know any other way of dividing it up. like that. Can you see where I've cut it, cut a line down through the middle? Then I'm going to take half of it and measure it down into the pan. Mash it down into the pan, rather. Okay, once you get this mashed down in your pan like this, this is where you put the mashed potatoes in. Have the mixture pressed into the bottom of the pan, and you press the potatoes on top of this. So I'm just going to kind of measure out potatoes till it looks like it's got enough in here. I don't really know what's going to be considered enough, but that's what I'm going to do. Maybe like spoon in each corner because the rest of the meat's going to have to go on top of this. Looks like I can use this whole entire package that I fixed up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now here's your mashed potatoes on top. See the layers? And now you're going to put the last bit of your hamburger on top of that. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I guess I'll kind of like make a little flat piece and lay it on there in each section because I can't really mash it down against the mashed potatoes or it's gonna the mashed potatoes will squish out over the top of the thing it's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together And after you get this second layer on there, see, there's your two layers. Three layers, if you want to call it that. And then you're going to take your last little thing of your tomato sauce, and you're going to pour that on the top. Okay. After you get your last, the last little bit of the, uh, the last four ounces of the tomato sauce on, then you put it in the oven and bake it 350 for one hour. So I'm going to put it in the oven now and bake it, and then I'll come back in an hour and we'll sample a little piece of Jan's. Inside out meatloaf, that's what I'm going to call it. 
So see you in an hour in YouTube time. Okay, we're back now and the meatloaf is finished cooking. Here's what it looks like when it's finished. Let's see if I can get up there in the oven. So now all we gotta do is cut a little piece and sample it. It just came out of the oven, so it is very, very hot. I've never had meatloaf cook like this before, so I don't even know what it's supposed to look like when it comes out. <laughs> you got everything you need right there in it. Your mashed potatoes, your meat, your vegetables. All you need is a dinner roll maybe a tall salad let me turn this out this way a little bit so i can try to sample it i got some of it with the mashed potatoes should try oops Mm -hmm. I like it. That's really good. It's different than any other meatloaf I had. It's very, very good. Y'all know I would tell you the truth if I didn't like it after making that, that meatless chili that I made the other day. That stuff was horrible. I ended up giving it to the dog. And before she ate it all, she stopped eating it. She didn't even like it. But yeah, this, this tastes pretty good. That's good. Thanks for coming and watching me make Jan's meatloaf. I'm going to call it the inside out meatloaf when I write it down in my recipe cookbook. Thank you guys for visiting with me today. Thumbs up for those of you who enjoyed this video. Y'all come back and see me any old time. Bye for now.